here in Dallas, Texas. Oh, this crowd is ready. Folks at home, you better be ready too, because we have a great matchup ahead in our winner's bracket final. These two teams have secured themselves a top three placing, and a win here will put them in the grand final. Our first team is one of the biggest organizations in the gaming industry. They are none other than FaZe Clan. This squad has had multiple championships in the past, and boy, oh boy, have they formed quite the rivalry with our next team. They've got the loudest fan base. They've got all the accolades in the world. They are Optic Gaming. A team of four of the most individually skilled players in Call of Duty. There's a lot of respect between these two squads, but when it comes down to it, there's a lot of bad blood Ladies and gentlemen in Dallas, are you guys excited? I am, the players are, and the casters are too. Casters, take us to game number one. Thank you so much, Courage. The energy in here today, Matt. This is ridiculous phase versus Optic Gaming, and we get it in our winner's bracket final. Oh, and I love when you see all the players come out onto the main stage, because you can just tell, like, the intense rivalry these teams have. I almost want to call it a little bit of a hatred, like, you know, you see Clay on the stage, like, he just despises that this Optic team is winning so much, wants to get FaZe a win here so badly. Absolutely, you know it's been eating at him. This FaZe clan, it was put together to counter this juggernaut squad built by Optic Gaming. They've had success in earlier titles, but it's been a while since they've held a trophy. And Matt, last time you and I cast these two teams, it was way back in Atlanta. That was a very close matchup, went to a game five, but most recently, you got a chance to watch them over in Paris, and it was a one-sided affair. Yeah, that series was ugly, but Optic Gaming was on fire in Paris, a different team here today. I mean, they had a tough series against Luminosity the other night, a very tough series against Splice this morning. They look vulnerable here. Can't wait to see how these eight players match up when it comes to respawn. You have some of the best slayers in the game right now, and we have to look at some of the biggest numbers that we should expect to see coming into this first hard point. Tell me, who are our G Fuel key players? Yeah, you're looking on the side of Optic Gaming at Skump. He has been tremendous this event. We've given Formal a lot of love but Skump has shown up in a big way. Looks like he's kind of found his groove here in Infinite Warfare, and then on the other side of things, Enable. He has been so good from ESWC to now. I feel like one of the most underrated players in competitive Call of Duty. You see the numbers that he is putting up as well. Very nice. Absolutely, Enable, kind of a quieter guy on social media compared to some of the other people on this team. But he's been a pro, an MLG pro, since he was 16 years old. He is the elder of Skump, who also broke out as a youngster. At just 15, he was raising trophies with leverage. Yeah, and I mean, you look with Enable and Formal. These guys have been playing against each other for years now, you know, six, seven years. Now, Enable doesn't want to be known as, like, that second best player that's come over from other titles. He wants to take that throne and be on top of the game. Enable wants a fill-in for Optic Gaming, went over to Europe, helped win them a trophy. Now on the opposite side of the stage, representing the FaZe Clan. FaZe has gone down to Optic in recent history, trying to right the wrong here tonight. Will FaZe move on to our grand finals, or will it be Optic Gaming? We're about to find out. The best of five series starts right now. I tell you what, Chris, going into game number one, usually, you know, every map is extremely important in a series like this, but game number one for FaZe, you now maybe the entire thing. They need to come out, have a very good start here. They take game number one, they regain some of that confidence they lost against Optic Gaming, you know, back at Atlanta and ESWC. Talk to me purely about the hard points, Matt. When we go into this first game, we saw Optic off to slow starts in both of their matches against Splice. They were able, though, to come back and finish those games strong. 
Do you think they get off to a slow start against FaZe Clan? I don't think they can afford to. I think FaZe is going to come out, and if they get off to a slow start, Optic FaZe is just going to blow this first game out. And you think, you no know, Optic, that they've lost a hard point to Ghost Crew, Splice, Luminosity. Now, this is a game mode where they've actually been vulnerable in, and you saw the one against Splice. I believe it was a throwback the game one. I mean, Skump has 50 kills, and they only win by 20 points. So, I mean, if he doesn't go off like that, you think Splice maybe takes that game one. So they're going to need to fix their hard point game, make sure it's solid here against FaZe. Optic Gaming has been clutch in their game fives on the main stage their last two matches. Will it go the distance once again? FaZe Clan also no stranger to big game five victories. I'm looking forward to a final S&D between these two powerhouses. Yeah, you know, FaZe, they get a big win over E Unite in their last series. Spoke with Clay a little bit. They've taken a lot of the search and destroy strategies that Fnatic used at ESWC when they went on that crazy search and destroy run. So you think FaZe, they maybe have figured out some things in search and destroy that they could use against Optic to their advantage. We take a look at our players. Clayster on your screen has been the difference maker. When he struggles, they get slaughtered by Optic. When he is on point, they can take down the number one team in the world. Will he be able to keep at that same caliber that we just saw him play against E United? I'm expecting so. Talking to him backstage, the man is fired up. He's been looking forward to this rematch, and it's happening right now. Five seconds away, it's game number one. Make some noise as we head to Scorch. And I think Clay switching over to the NV4 has helped his game out so much. This is the first time I've really seen him at an event where I'm like, Clay, how you feeling? He can legitimately look at me with a smile and say he's feeling really good going into these games. I think his play kind of carries over to the rest of his team, the confidence he gives to his teammates. Can't match that in the scoreboard, but Optic Gaming Skump getting off to a good start. Absolutely, and Skump, if you remember back to the last match here, he was able to drop 51 kills in his first hard point. He opens this one up, a perfect 4-0, already working on streaks. Formal, meanwhile, is going to be controlling the middle of the map. He keeps scoring. Optic off to a fantastic start, getting 26 of the opening 40 points. Yeah, and if you're phased, you just got to focus up, get control of bridge here, and then worry about pushing through. And you do see they are going to go try and get this turbine spawn, but Formal inside the warehouse, not able to take out Enable there. It's a big kill for Enable. It's going to be a two-on-two -two to see who gets this turbine hill. Keep your eyes on Zuma at the top of the map. He is the only red arrow now Enable trying to join him. Zuma dropped though, so Enable has no reinforcements here. Finally, a teammate is there to help out. It's attached. How are they going to break this optic setup? You're going to have to pinch here. You're going to have to send players through the middle, but they're overloading this top side. You have that one player directly behind the cliff here to Enable's right. He's going to have to come out and challenge it. He's not going to win that fight against Karma. Nobody there that flies out and trades it right away. It's a good hold for Optic this far. Zuma is going to break through. Finally picks up Skomp. Karma is eliminated from the back lines. There's still 34 points to go. This is just a 15-point game. A three-streak now for Zuma after a slow start. He is two kills away now from getting streaks. Again. It's going to be phase with complete control of this hill. You see how Optic is setting up. Krim trying to come on the bottom. He's going to get taken out. Not going to be able to set up that pinch. So with 15 seconds left on this hill, Optic's going to spawn all the way out at Cave as phase takes the lead. Optic going to rotate, give the last 15 or so seconds here to phase time. So Optic wins the fight for the first control point. Second one, it was FaZe rotating through after about 20 seconds, and they will take our lead. But it's Optic set up first, and look at that kill feed. Skump is going to be team killed, but Karma eliminating all of the threats. Skump already 8-3 and three, is the player to watch so far in this match as he helps Optic Gaming re-secure the lead. Yeah, and FaZe just needs to go together. You're seeing a lot of just single pushes. I mean, Atachi's all the way in the back. He picks up one kill. That's great, but look at where the rest of the team is. All the way on the opposite side of the map. He's going to pick up another kill, which is huge. You're going to start spawning Optic out towards that left-hand side. FaZe needs to take advantage of this. They need to converge on the hard point. And I love it. FaZe was kind of spread out. Karma, you saw, was worrying about Attach. Meanwhile, the rest of the teammates from FaZe Clan were able to hit the front. Formal was just in a one on three. Now it's FaZe with total control of the hangar. 74 to 74, we're tied up again. FaZe will retake the lead, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Optic pull away here on the drill. Yeah, Enable on a three streak here, locking down the hard point. The rest of his teammates gonna try and rotate all the way around towards drill. Clay got off to a little bit of a rough start, I believe one and four, but now starting to heat up a little bit. And they need him in a big way here against OG. Enable seven and four. Right now on a three streak. Zuma is going to challenge. Zuma will lose the fight. Formal will clean up Enable as well. No streaks for you, sir. It's all optic control. 
You see FaZe, they're going around that top side of your mini-map. That tells me that they're not too concerned for this drill hardpoint, trying to get a pinch, maybe get control of drill, but they're really worried about that turbine hill. It's obviously not going to be the next one. They're going to go back to bridge to go to the second rotation, but they feel like if they can control turbine, they can take control of the game. Four hard points, 12 kills for Scum so far. Karma's going to be dropped. Two more players from FaZe flooding in. The grenade will trade out a navel, and you'll see the kill behind Crim6. Unfortunately, Clayster pokes out, finds him at the opportune time. A two-piece there attaches in the hill. FaZe keeps picking up the final seconds of each hard point. They're on the rotation once again. They're keeping this game very close, and this is not a great sign for Optic Gaming, because if FaZe can win that rotation of Turbine yet again, they can start to take a big lead, and then, you know, you start to spiral kills, maybe you earn some streaks there, you can blow open the drill, you can blow open Bridge on that third rotation, and that's where FaZe can take this game. Ten-point lead for Optic Gaming. It's going to be a bloodbath here in the middle of the map as both teams fight for control of the Bridge. So far, FaZe going to win this battle as Attach pulls out the ERAD. I like this decision. He can be very aggressive on the map, get to these close quarter spots, and take advantage of that SMG. He gets taken out there, but just that challenge forces Krim to come out a little bit weak, and Zuma's able to pick it up. Formal back to positive numbers. You have Skump slowing down quite a bit, and while all this is going on, it's FaZe who is picking up time. They're in the lead once again. They're rotating earlier to the Turbine as well. Big fight is going to go down on your mini-map. Six versus three. It's going to be one. Karma taking out Zuma. We'll see where Zuma spawns up on the mini-map. He actually goes with the rest of FaZe over by Turbine. So this is huge. This is maybe the game right here. If FaZe is able to hold this, they are in very good shape to take this first hard point. Tied up once again. FaZe back in control. And as you said, this hill can be a money hill. 50 points remaining here. Optic knows they have to get FaZe Clan out right now. Karma coming, flooding from the back. Scump is there. Enable will trade out, but he's the lone man. Now, knowing there's going to be a flank, takes out Formal. Going up again, it's Skump who's dropped. Enable the one-man army just took out three members of Optic. Make it four. No, Krim is going to stand tall. Yeah, but two members of FaZe pinching on the hard point. Enable keeps FaZe Clan alive, picking up those big kills, giving his teammates enough time to get back towards the hard point to at least contest here towards the end. Zuma with a big two-piece. So the last 14 seconds will go over to FaZe. All right, and that 14 seconds will bring them back within three. The rotation is going down a big fight at the bottom right corner of your mini-map. Once again, it's Krim6 winning the transition battles. He's done it on the last three hills. This time around, Optic is going to set up for success. Zuma's cleared out, and FaZe now has to regroup before pushing through. It's a tie game, basically. And you see Optic Gaming spawning in that back cave area all the way on the far right of your mini-map. Placer needs to win that engagement to be able to force spawn Optic out, and then you take control of Hank. Zuma attacking down low. Attached trying to hit some grenades up top. Three members of Optic all set up in the hangar. Three members of FaZe about to push in. Here comes the crash. As soon as Clayster gets to the top bridge, they will all come in at once. Down goes Attached, though. Scump is going to pick up the first kill. Zuma trades out, but Formal, Scump, and Krim all in the feed as Optic holds once again. They have built the largest lead we have seen so far in this game. 40 points and counting. Yeah, it's very difficult for Clay to slide in there with the NV4 and make a play on the hard point. And as we go over towards Drill, the Formal set up with Karma. See if they can take out this player in observation. Formal walks right by him. Both these players have no idea where the other's located. It's going to be Scump with some help from Formal. Able to take out one. FaZe gets control, but Drill is not an easy hard point to hold down. Absolutely not, and Scump needs help here. You need your teammates to be pushing through mid. Scump is the only player attacking from this angle. So FaZe, with three people looking his direction, are going to be spread thin. A camo comes out. It's used by a navel, and he is just going to play this one so patiently. Sneaks away, knows he can't fight multiple opponents at once. One by one. Can he pick them off once again. It's attached with a two-piece. Clayster in the back end as well, and Enable will fall, but this hill is heavily contested. But you do, do burn camo there, Chris. Uh, you know, you're only going to get maybe 15 seconds with some contestion out of this hard point. You know, maybe, obviously, you don't know if the game extends to another turbine, but you would love that camo to be able to break that hard point. Maybe we see Enable get it back if it goes that long, but I guess at this point in the game, you kind of need to start using these abilities to get whatever time you can. We talked about Clayster struggling in the matchups versus Optic Gaming. It seems that trend will continue here in Dallas. It's 11, make it now 12 and 20 on the scoreboard for him. He needs to earn more kills. He needs to start heating up. That two-piece is going to help him. He'll be shut down momentarily. Karma 
cleaning up everybody here in the factory. And now Karma on a three streak is also working on these score streaks. Well, I think a lot of plays, no struggles against Optic. As you know, it's just the team game that FaZe is playing. We saw them have success against Optic. Though they are having Zuma and Attach push up into the Optic Gaming's players, putting a lot of pressure on Clay. It will just take those long range shots. You know, easy engagements with great accuracy. It's what he's excellent at. And now, you know, that Optic is putting all this pressure on him. It's much different. Big double kill from Skump in transition. Enabled the only one from FaZe in position to contest. He will be eliminated. Skump comes flying out for his third kill in a row. Skump also with payload available. We're on board with Zuma from FaZe. No reactive armor use, no kills for Zuma. Attached trying to trade it out. The battle for the turbine is what we're all watching right now. This is where you would have loved to have active camo. Try and break in here with the naval, but it's going to be Clay trying to fly in with the K-Bar. He's going to get taken out. Optic Gaming very close to closing this game out. Absolutely, Matt, but FaZe is not going down without a fight. Scump, another two-piece, locking it in. Nine points to go. FaZe cannot wait for help. They have to go one by one, and it's not going to work. Scump, three of the final four kills. Crimp 6 is going to seal the deal as Optic takes game one. On you saw we saw some rough performances in that one from Attach and Clay. The two guys that have given up the gaming so much trouble in the past do not come through in game number one. Not the gaming takes it. Even though they fall in game number one, I was so impressed with some of the plays made by Enable. Keep your eyes on the Ginger for FaZe Clan moving forward. But as we take a look back at some of the highlights, this was a back and forth, back and forth game. The lead changing at least six different times throughout our first map. Yeah, not the gaming really blew the game open in that second hangar. When they were able to get control early, FaZe was not able to break it. The first time FaZe was able to get that back cave spawn, they were able to split some time. The second time that hill came up, they were not able to get anything going. Clayster always has his fans with him, friends traveling from afar. They are all here to support him. They know that FaZe is going to need some energy because so many Optic Gaming fans are here today and they are all cheering on another fantastic performance from Scum. Yeah, you got some great time on the bridge for Optic Gaming, but like I was talking about, it's that hangar that really decided the game. A lot of that time comes in the second rotation of hard points when Optic Gaming was able to hold that back cave. What do you think, Texas? Did you guys have a good time in that first game? Do you want another one? We're bringing you Search and Destroy in just a moment, but first we have to look at one of the most dangerous players on the stage. It's Scum, who is gunning for the Control Freak MVP award this weekend. You know, he's making a pretty good case for it, Chris. I mean, obviously,